The following segment is sponsored by Western Heating, Air and Plumbing. Tis the season to prepare for the coldest months of the year. Laura and Angie are here with some helpful tips. Both of you, welcome to the show. Thank you Thanks. so much. All right, winter, believe it or not, is on its way. Laura, what are some basic things we can do to prepare our homes for these cold months? The first thing you want to do is just clear things from around your furnace. Okay. The next thing you want to do is be sure you have a clean filter in your furnace. The next thing would be to make sure all of your registers are open and you don't have furniture or drapes or anything blocking that airflow. And the last thing you want to do is change the batteries in your thermostat and also in your carbon monoxide detectors. There you go. Easy enough. All right. Speaking of carbon monoxide, Angie, where does this come from? You know, carbon monoxide is such a dangerous gas mm -hmm. and it's that it's called the silent killer because you can't smell it. You cannot see it, mm -hmm. but it comes from burned fuels in your home. Okay. So, for example, if your furnace is burning the gas and mm -hmm. it's not venting out of the home properly, it can seep into your home. Um, another cause is if you have a cracked heat exchanger, mm -hmm. that can leak those dangerous gases into the home. So, that's why it's so important to get a carbon monoxide detector that can detect even the tiniest amount, the tiniest particles. So if you look, when you're getting ready to buy one, pick one that will measure the tiniest, even like 30 parts per million or less. Okay, and is that the best way to protect ourselves from carbon monoxide? Absolutely, get those batteries in and, and make sure you have a, a detector ready to Perfect. go. Perfect, all right, now let's talk about our HVAC systems. Laura, why is it so important that we have these, you know, if they haven't had maintenance, why is it so important that they do? So it's really important to have a tune-up to be sure that you're not having those issues with carbon monoxide or any other dangers. And if you've never had a furnace tune-up, it's not a big deal. We know people that have lived in their home five, ten years and have never had maintenance, and okay. it's not a big deal. So you don't need to be embarrassed. Get the maintenance yes, now. Yes. <laughs> I avoided going to the dentist for years once because I thought they're going to yell at me, they're going to shame me, and yeah. it was no big deal. I just got right back on track with my regular scheduled maintenance. Same is true with your furnace. All right. That sounds so great. All right. Now let's talk about the Gift of Heat program. Tell us about that. This is a, probably our favorite tradition here at Western Heating and Air and Plumbing. Every year we find a family in the community who's in need of a furnace and for one reason or another, you know, maybe health, financial situations, they can't afford it. And so we've been doing this program for eight years now where we find a family, um, we have the community nominate and tell us about their friends and, and family that are in need. And then we award a family the gift of heat with a new furnace and we we try to warm their hearts and their homes. I love that so much. Really fast, if someone wants to nominate a family, how can they do that? Go to our website, westernheatingair.com. The nominations are open today and they will be open for three weeks. So you have three weeks to nominate someone. Perfect, so amazing. Well, Laura and Angie, thank you so much for coming in. We've so appreciated having you. Thank, thank you so you. much.